Welcome to the channel. Today's special guest is Donald Trump. I am a channeling psychic medium, and I have the uncanny ability to tap in to someone's subconscious mind and read their thoughts. Today we're going to channel Donald Trump. I have no opinion on this matter, and the words that come out in this reading are his words, not mine. So let's do it. Let's channel Donald Trump. Trump. This is the picture that I'm focusing on. Let's see what he has to say. Spirit, source, universal energy. I want to know, spirit, I want to know about Donald Trump. Donald Trump, spirit. Donald Trump. What is it? that's going on in his subconscious mind. What do we need to know and understand about Donald Trump? How does he think? How does he feel? What are his intentions? And most importantly, what happens in the subconscious mind? Spirit, what happens in Donald Trump's mind that nobody but he knows? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Spirit, I wanna tap in to Donald Trump. What do we need to know about Donald Trump? Please tell me where that stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Donald Trump. What do we need to know Ooh, right there about Donald Trump? All right. Okay, you guys. All right. Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump. Here we go. So the Nine of Swords in Reverse. Nine of Swords in Reverse is a man with a lot of anxiety. Lots of anxiety, a lot of anxiety. Clarified by more anxiety with the Nine of Swords in the upright, up, up at night, right? Rubbing his head. Um, we're talking to a very, very passionate person, by the way, okay? And these cards are very passionate. So lots of anxiety, dramatic kind of. So lots of anxiety, lots of despair. This is someone who feels very deeply, very deeply. He feels deeply, okay? The emperor in reverse. I was stumped about that, so I said, what is this about? Because it's about obviously not being the emperor, right? Um, it's and, and it turns out to be about loss, okay? So he has a lot of anxiety and despair about losing the six of wands because he wants victory, progress, and success. That's what this man is so extremely passionate about throughout this entire reading is victory, progress, and success, okay? Or, or the tower, right? It's either going to be a complete and total crumbling or it's going to be an insane victorious success, obviously, one way or the other, right? Because of the position that he's in. And he has a lot of anxiety about this, but it's not so much as we will see in a couple more rows here. It's not so much that he wants to win, that he has like this, I, I, I have to win, it's the fact that he truly sees himself as the only hope for the success of the United States of America. He truly does. And we will see that as we go through here. Take it as you may. That's what he's saying to me, okay? So it's either going to be tower or success, tons of anxiety. Um, and he is out of control with that emperor in reverse, right? He has no control over it. And that's a hard thing for this guy because he's used to being able to make shit happen. And now he has to depend upon the general public to agree with him to make shit happen, which would be to make him the president, right? So the alchemist in reverse, this is about an inability to manifest, an inability to manifest to the sun in reverse, not seeing clearly. And the Knight of Swords in reverse, not being able to communicate. So his biggest anxiety and despair with these double Nine of Swords right here and this tower, his biggest anxiety and despair, what he's saying in these cards right here, followed no less by the King of Pentacles, and that'll make sense in a second, okay? What he's saying is that, is that his mission and he does see this as a mission okay and that's explained down here in the bottom row his mission um he is having a hard time making people see clearly how important 
this mission is, how important he is to the future of this country, because we are talking about the presidential candidate, right? So he is extremely frustrated and anxiety stricken because of, of his inability to manifest because he's out of control, right? And he's not getting his point across like he wants to get his point across. And maybe he's frustrated on the inside because he can't articulate what it is that he wants to articulate. Or perhaps he's frustrated because all of the clips of him that the public is seeing are chosen and and there's a whole bigger story behind those clips but the news keeps showing the clips over and over and over again because you know we're sheep so that's his frustration is that he can't nobody's hearing what it is that he's trying to say all right king of pentacles king of pentacles is how he sees himself this is daddy right here right daddy he sees himself as being able to take care of everything. To the Ace of Pentacles, new prosperity, new ground to grow things on, new opportunities. To the Strength card, new opportunities that will strengthen the American people, that will strengthen his position, but more importantly, will strengthen what he is so passionate about, which apparently is the success of this country, okay? So if he can be daddy, he can strengthen everything and give everybody new opportunities. Princess of Cups in reverse, right? To the Eight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse is about delays, sluggishness, no forward momentum. And the Princess of Cups is about an inability to emotionally connect. Now remember, as I'm telling you guys these definitions, you can spin off of any of the root definitions of this card in a bazillion different ways, right? An inability to emotionally connect. We could take, we could have a bazillion podcasts about that, right? And all of it would be different. For this particular situation, he is frustrated that he can't express the importance he can't get his eight of wands in reverse, right? Sludge. He can't get his... What I'm hearing him say is you guys don't understand. Nobody understands. You don't understand. And I can't... I don't have a voice. And that's why he's so frustrated, right? I don't have a... I cannot articulate this to you somehow, some way. And I am extremely frustrated. And then the fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. He has a plan okay a huge plan he truly does he might not say because he's having a hard time spitting it out right that he has a plan but he has some kind of a plan okay and then the five of swords in reverse comes just now came on top of that this is about letting go of a win at all cost mentality letting go hold on i'm gonna explain Letting go of a win at all cost mentality, new beginning, new journey, new direction, and then the nine of pentacles. Okay. Independent, self-sufficient. So what he is saying here, oddly enough, um, well, not oddly enough, but it already says it down here at the bottom. So it's kind of giving us a thread and sewing it together for me. Okay. So what he's saying here is that the, the American people, the big message that he is so frustrated about getting out is the Five of Swords in reverse. That the, that, that the people that he is trying to connect with, okay, they need to let go of some kind of mentality. And in this person's opinion, that mentality is what is detrimental to the success of of the United States, all right? And then the Nine of Pentacles also clarified this fool, right? The Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficient, independent, okay? What does he want? I mean, on the media, right? He's always saying we need to be self-sufficient and independent. And he, I'm telling y'all, he truly, truly believes that in this reading. He truly believes that the best way to save the United States of America is for us to be an independent, self-sufficient nation. And as we get further down here, I'll give you some more detail, but he also believes that the best way for there to be um, peace 
is for America to kind of mind its own business. And he, 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 he kind of says, as we get further down in this reading, that if America was just self-sufficient, independent, minded their own business, produced all of their own stuff, that's what this woman does, right? The Nine of Pentacles, nine is the number of attainment, okay? It's not completion, but it's attainment. And what she has grown is a sense of well-being with the earth energy in the Pentacles, she, she is independent, self-sufficient. She grows her own grapes. She sells falcons. And she rakes in the pentacles, which, if you're not familiar with tarot, is money. Okay? Security. Well-being. And that's what he believes is the best course of action. Look, the fool. There's a new way. There's a better way. If only people would let go of some kind of mentality with the this win at all costs mentality maybe he's saying if people would just understand his mission instead of labeling him as republican or democrat or independent or whatever right he's yeah he's on the republican ticket but nevertheless if people would just hear his message and understand his business plan that everything would would be so better for the future the fool there's a new way it's a, it's a new way we there's an alternative to the way that we've been doing things is what he says okay whoo i feel choked up i might have to uh choked up not like sad choked up but like uh, i can't i need a drink kind of choked up so hold on a second all right the king of wands in reverse this is a uh, lack of success it's about deep insecurities it is about uh, egocentric, self-centered. Um, if we were talking a deeper spiritual thing, if I was like reading for your cards, this would have to do with your human understanding of things and the, the human path. But that's neither here nor there because I'm reading for someone who's not with me, so I can't go deep like that. All right, so the King of Wands in reverse to the King of Swords. I'm going to dive into this a little bit. The King of Swords, the King of Wands. What's the root of the King of Wands in reverse right here? What is the root of the King of Wands in reverse right here? The Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so he reiterates right here with uh, King of Wands in reverse. Um, the Four of Cups in reverse is emotional apathy. So the King of Wands in reverse being an asshole, basically. And basically, that's what the King of Wands in reverse is. I mean, like I said, we can spin out in a bazillion different directions with the root definitions of all of these cards. That's why the tarot is alive, right? So, asshole. King of Swords, right? In the upright. Thank goodness, because if it was the King of Swords in reverse, we'd be talking about some other world leader here, okay? So the King of Swords in the upright is justice. It's truth. It's someone who makes hardcore decisions it's someone who takes into consideration the logic, the reasoning, and the practicality of a situation, and they are the ultimate decision maker, all right? So what he is saying is with the emotional apathy of the Four of Cups in reverse, right? This is saying we should not care if the whole rest of the world thinks that we're assholes because hermit in reverse. We withdraw, we isolate, and we don't participate in the the world scene in some way. And, you know, well, that's, I'm trying not to talk politics here, okay? So, the hermit in reverse, withdrawal, king of swords, this is what we need to do. We need to focus on us. We need to withdraw from the whole situation. Ten of wands in reverse, and dump the burden that we're carrying of being consumed somehow by what it is that this guy is so adamantly opposed to. And then judgment, right? Some a judgment and the king of swords. Someone's got to call the shots. Someone has to do this. Someone has to make the decision to do this. And I am the king of pentacles. I can do this. I can make us self-sufficient. I can... I can I can produce new opportunities. I can strengthen our company. I can grow things from the inside. There's a new beginning, a new journey. If you would just understand 
how important this is. And it's okay if we're an asshole from his perspective, okay? It's okay if we're an asshole about it. Who cares with the Four of Cups in reverse? Emotionally apathetic. Who cares? The Hermit in reverse, we need to withdraw. We need to dump the burden, judgment, and we need to make a drop dead serious decision about how it is that we are going to change the momentum of the future. Literally, a changing of the future. Interesting. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading. This is an, an inability to manifest. It's also sometimes about short-term focus, okay? Let's explain. The Ace of Wands in reverse. This is unable to get something sparked, unable to get something going. And then the Eight of Cups in reverse talks about emotional despair. It's, it's, it's being in a state of emotional despair. And then the Seven of Cups in reverse. Look at that. Delusion. Hold on a minute, you guys. Hold on here. Hold on. I got something on the floor, too. Look, two of pentacles in reverse. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Holy shit. I cannot make this up in the world. I cannot make this up. All right. Well, interesting. So, 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 the passion of this guy, okay? This guy, though. This guy, though. This guy, though. All right. So, Princess of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading. This is an inability to manifest. And what it is, because it's in the center of the reading and how I feel about everything right now, this is the central focus. And the central focus for this guy is nothing can grow. Nothing can grow. Nothing can grow. The Ace of Wands in reverse, and he can't seem to inspire what it, whom it is he needs to inspire to understand how to get things grow because they're all stuck in that mindset right there, right? And this, it doesn't say, remember, this is his perspective, okay? This mindset isn't necessarily a bad mindset. It just doesn't match what his vision is, okay? And it's standing in the way, all right? To the Eight of Cups in reverse, extremely emotionally in, a, in, in an extreme state of emotional despair because he can't get done what he feels is the most important thing in the whole wide world to get done. And he's deeply emotionally distressed, seven of cups in reverse, because he says that there's a delusion that, that people are believing things about him that aren't true and also that the people are believing things that aren't true. And, and that has to do with that mindset right there, right? He, it's like a fog. He's like, you're not seeing clearly what's going on here. To the two of pentacles in reverse, um, it, has to, it affects your finances, but most importantly, it's about being imbalanced in the sense of well-being. And it's almost like he's saying you're imbalanced in a sense of well-being foolishly with the fool right here, foolishly believing Look at that. It's right beneath that mindset as well, right? Foolishly believing that you have the opportunities and you really don't. Huh. And the fool in reverse. Foolish. Absolutely foolish. The sun, right? Please see very, very clearly the path to happiness, success, and vitality. The hermit in reverse is withdrawal is withdraw the chariot pushing forward and the world into a brand new cycle, into a brand new phase and a brand new reality. And he says that so strongly, right? It's foolish for us to keep doing it the way that we've done it. We need to go, his words, not mine. When I do a channeler, I'm speaking, he's speaking through me. Okay. I know that sounds creepy and shit, but it, it's true. So do not come at me. None of this is my bullshit. Okay. The son, he desperately wants to see people that the path to happiness for people to see that the path to happiness, success, and vitality is withdrawal chariot and push forward into a new look right beneath the fool, a new way, a new cycle, a new phase. The Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions down here. You guys see this? No, here, let me do this. So the Seven of Cups, right? 
options, choices, decisions, the death card, the ten of pentacles, and then we have all of this right here, okay? So options, choices, and decisions, and then we have the lover's card right here on top of it. Here, let me move this a little bit for you. So the lovers to the seven of cups, and then death. Very interesting. The seven of cups is options, choices, decisions, okay? The lovers stands for, um, I do believe, allies in this particular situation, okay? Um, confirm or deny for me the lover's card. Allies, the people around him, options, choices, decisions. What What is this about? The three of wands in reverse, right? So a lack of foresight. Okay, all right. So what he's saying here is that his drawback, all right, you guys, so seven of cups, options, choices, decisions. Um, um, this speaks to me of, of voters, okay, of, of voters, right? People have options, choices, and decisions. The lover's card send, comes on top of it and represents this man's love for the people, the country, a way of life, maybe. Um, but it it's almost like it's the people in the Seven of Cups being confused. And it's almost like the lovers is him giving it a hug. I know that's just cheesy as shit, but it's true. It's almost like the lovers giving him a hug because the Three of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of foresight, right? You guys aren't seeing the forest through the trees. You're not seeing what's going to happen to this country. His words, not mine. You're not seeing what's going to happen to this country. The star in reverse, this isn't the path. This isn't the purpose. This isn't the way that we're supposed to be going to the lovers again, reiterating his passion and compassion for people. And is, yeah, for people. Mm -hmm. um, to death an ending, a change, a transformation, and that's the only two options, an ending or a transformation in this person's opinion. Death. We are either going to bring what's coming, he says, to an end and transform this country, or it will come to an end. That's what he says. To the five of wands in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse talks about the avoidance of responsibility. The Page of Swords in reverse talks about no communication or um, um, all talk, no action. The Eight of Wands in reverse talks about no forward momentum. And the Ace of Swords talks about truth and an aha moment. So what he's saying here, death to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse is loss. Loss of sense of well-being. Loss. In this person's opinion, he thinks that if he loses this, if, if he loses this election, that the country is going to experience a great deal of financial loss. That's what he thinks. Okay? The Five of Wands in reverse is about um, the avoidance of responsibility. And the page of swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. And it takes me back to this seven of cups right here, right? So what he's saying is that the people who are in this mindset up here, right? Maybe, maybe straight party voting or something. What he's saying is that that mindset that he was so concerned about with the nine of swords and stuff when we first started all of this, right? That mindset is irresponsible, and it if and it, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, eight of wands in reverse, no forward momentum, right? So the people who, in his opinion, believe that mindset and they're not going to help him win just simply because of that mindset, um, ace of swords, uh, they'll see the truth. They'll, they'll see the truth soon, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, because everybody's going to lose big time, he says, to the hangman. The hangman is pausing, processing, 
cutting yourself loose from a tree with a new perspective, and the Five of Cups in reverse, moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. And that's what he says. He's like, if you guys will just listen to me, I can help you move forward, move past the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, right? This is a lack of motivation and the Page of Cups or an inability to get things going. And then the Page of Cups says, I can help you to get things going. I can help you for to spin this in the upright and have brand new beginnings. To the two of wands in reverse and i fear for the future i fear for the future the four of cups in reverse because you don't see what's happening the two of cups in reverse you don't see what's happening and the tell me about this two of cups in reverse right here tell me about this emotional fear of the future emotionally apathetic two of cups in reverse the Princess of Cups. Okay. He has fear of the future because significant, important relationships are in jeopardy. Okay? Princess of Cups says he and only he can fix these relationships. His perspective, not mine. Okay? He and only he, I and only I, can fix this whole situation because I know what's going on and what he knows is going on. Look, the high priestess, right? His soul in his heart of hearts and in his soul of souls, he believes that the only way for America to be great again is for us to withdraw from all of the everything that's going on in the world, regain our independence and stay out of everybody's business because he says he knows that that's what the rest of the world wants. The rest of the world wants the United States to mind their own business. And I, he, I, I am going to do that. I'm going to build this country from the inside out. We're going to mind our own business and we're going to get our fair share. Look, six of swords. We're going to leave behind everybody else and focus two of wands on our future focus on our future to the empress in reverse the empress in reverse to the ten of swords in reverse the empress in reverse for me in this reading represents the united states and the empress in reverse is about codependency okay codependency ten of swords in reverse is about a renewal of a mindset and I suppose that codependency can go back to that mindset thing somehow because what he's saying here is that the United States, America, the Empress, right, is codependent and we need to renew that mindset to the Four of Swords in reverse. It's a, it's, it's a lack mentality, this codependency. The Two of Cups, unions, the Emperor, how he sees himself, the leader, to the Princess of Wands, enthusiasm, excitement. I can create new relationships, new kinds of relationships. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. New kinds of relationships that are going to turn the lack in everyone's life. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is about upset in the home, the family, the finances, right? Upset in the home, the family, the finances, Six of Pentacles. I want to make it where everybody is giving and receiving and sharing in prosperity. The Five of Pentacles, left out in the cold, poor, broke. The Nine of Cups, no, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Five of Wands, conflict, the, the, con the, the, the conflict that he is talking about right here to the queen of swords right needs to come to an end someone needs to make some serious decisions about the direction of this country the prince of cups and i want to dedicate myself to doing that to the three of swords in reverse um this is this is uh, okay look look right so the prince of cups this is him 
making nice, making good with the rest of the world. He sees himself as the Prince of Cups when it comes to friendships, I guess, with other leaders of the world. And he wants peace. He's a peaceful guy. He's a peacemaker. And he is about win-win situations. Three of swords in reverse. And this is um, wanting, this is him making an offer to the rest of the world to forgive, forget, and, and, and forgive and forget. Look, eight of pentacles in reverse. Um, the unmet expectations that it's almost like he's going, he knows how to apologize to the rest of the world for the things that have happened in the United States, in his opinion, from this point backwards. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, a new plan, a new plan, a, a plan, making a plan, perhaps with world leaders, perhaps with, yeah, world leaders. To the seven of wands, um, we need to protect ourselves, strength, we need a strong country, the devil, the attachment that is the restriction to our growth, ace of swords in reverse, is not seeing clearly, having chaos in the mind. And that goes back to how passionate he was in that first row about not being able to get across his thing. Uh, it's almost like he's, like there's bricks on his chest or something. Interesting. The star, the direction, the renewal, the path and the purpose, in his opinion, of this country, five of cups in reverse, is to move on from loss, regret, despair, associated with betrayal, deception, deceit, people trying to get away with something. This card is literally about screwing someone over. We need to free ourselves, he says, from getting screwed over. To judgment in reverse, bad decisions, um, self-doubt, and I think this is a card about self-doubt for him. He has a lot of self-doubt, six of wands, that he's going to win, and it's very, very important for him to win, prince of wands, so he can take the actions that he needs to take to the ace of cups to restore justice, in his opinion, to this country. It's in this country's best interest to get me behind the wheel so I can drive us to self-sufficiency, independence, and strength. We need to withdraw. We need to focus on ourselves. We need to stay out of everybody's business and make America great again. To the Three of Cups. Hmm. Celebration joy. Everybody coming together after being away for a good minute and saying, whew, man, glad we made it through that. How, how have you been? And how have you been? And how have you been? Bottom of the deck, the two of pentacles, the balancing out of the finances, of the sense of well-being. Look, the ten of cups in reverse, emotional uh, dissatisfaction, the six of cups in reverse, stuck in the past, the prince of swords in reverse, this is um, what's this Prince of Swords in reverse? What's this about? What's this Prince of Swords in reverse? What's this Prince of Swords in reverse? What's this Prince of Swords in reverse? Prince of Swords in the upright. Yep, right on. Okay, so Ten of Cups in reverse, right? Sadness. Sadness, this is broken home, broken family, broken, 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 just broken emotions. Six of Cups in reverse, unresolved issues from the past. The Prince of Swords in reverse can't get forward the information that he wants to get forward to the Prince of Swords. And this is him, Prince of Swords, with the Three of Pentacles. With the teamwork and the collaboration of the American people, he can bring forward the message that he is trying so passionately and desperately to do. He needs to steer the ship in a different direction, he says, to the Four of Wands, to bring peace and harmony and safety. Look, to the lovers again, right? To the people. 
to his people, to the people that he loves. He has a great deal of passion for this whole situation. I also want to say back here with this death card, right? Um, he has a lot of anxiety and despair about this card. But he is also, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, willing to give up everything for it. Yep. All right. Well, hey, that's what uh, Donald J. Trump has to say. I hope you all enjoyed that. Namaste.